This is where the location of the powerhouse that'll house the turbine will be. Right here in this area here will easily feed back into the river, which is here. And then right now, 140 feet up here, I have already run my turbine, or my pipe, and I'm waiting just to finish the last 140 feet. So I hope to have that done here in the next week. Let's continue on, and I'll show you the rest of the progress. And here is the, uh, where we have the pipe run to. So that's only 140 feet to right over there. And that's a three inch PVC pipe. It's not quite as easy as just burying pipe over here. I don't know if you can see, just there's so many rocks and trees and the train is just so treacherous that you really got to get creative. We're still not there. We're going to run it down a little bit further, but we got the uh, right intention. We'll go on up. Here's more of the running of the pipe. And you can see it off in the distance. And here's another shot of the continual running of the tube. You'll see here, we had to do a little excavation, kind of bending around the tree. Nice, easy, gradual slope, and then here we get a good vertical drop. And uh, it takes off as a straight shot right to the pin stock. Okay, we just came from down there. And you can see we're continuing to run the three inch PVC pipe for our pen stock. And right up there, you can see that white PVC pipe. That's a vent. And that's right where we have our cutoff. And right in front of that is where our intake is. Let's continue on. Okay, right up there is our intake in that pool right there. And it travels down to there is our vent and our shutoff. And then to the right we have where we can divert it when we're cleaning it out. Then you can see that PVC pipe right over there. That's the location of the uh, clean out for the pond. I have a plug that I pull and that uh, drains the pond so that we can work on the intake. Okay, that's where our cutoff is in our vent. And then it continues on. Into the pool. So just up behind that rock. I have a, a wire basket around and a PVC filter drilled with a bunch of 3 16 inch holes. Uh, totally perforated. And that filters all the big debris from going into the pipe. I want to keep everything under one quarter of an inch of any debris that might go in there. And so this practice is being is trying to make sure that that's most efficient for when the water comes up and down uh, in a high rain like you just had, it can come, come up about three feet here, which puts a lot of turmoil. And then over there, you can see that's where the drain is. Here's the water running out of the pipe now. You can see it's a good solid three inch column of water shooting right out of there. That's nothing but power. I've uh, calculated that uh, from here, we have 125 feet of fall. And it's a 700 foot run. 
And so calculating all of that, the power that I have coming through this three inch pipe will be more than sufficient. Only 40% of the water from this pipe will be needed to run the Pelton wheel. So I will even be able to in the future, if I so decide, I could run another one right next to it. Life is good. Now from where the pump house is, right over there, to just over on the other side of that ridge and down some, about 350 feet is where the lodge is. And that's where we'll be running the wire to the voltage regulator and then to the batteries and then to the inverter.